video. And, um, what better day to do this than May 27, Judgment Day, and the Zombie Apocalypse Day. So, I thought I would do this video. Um, please forgive me, it is 5 in the morning. I know I look horrible. I'm still not feeling well to love people on my Facebook that know what's going on. Feeling, ugh. Anyways, so, my first most experience was when I was three. I was outside playing. Had asked me if I wanted to play with her. I'm like, no, I gotta go home, you know. So I came in and told my dad. Um, I had described her, and he did not tell me this till later on. That I had described his dead sister. The sister died when she was two days away from turning three. Um, it's kind of scary, but oh well. Um. When I was younger, I used to sleep in my mom and dad's room. Nobody would be out in the living room. And I would hear pots and pans banging around. When I was about five years old, my best friend, her name was Lexi. And she used to go over her grandma's all the time. I used to hang out with her, and she was awesome, you know, and I was sitting outside one time, nighttime, you know, because I'm wise like that, and I just sit outside at night, and yes, I know this side of my hair looks longer than this side, but it's because I'm in my bunk bed, and I have to kind of go like that, anyways. Thought I should say that. Um, I was sitting outside and I thought I heard her call me. I'm like, hello? Hello? Lexi, are you there? No answer. So I'm all freaking out. I come in and tell my dad, don't wait, you know. And I'm like, you don't understand. Um, it creeped me out so much. A couple years ago, I had went to my, f my friend's house. And her parents sleep out in the living room. They have a bed there because they live in the trailer. Um, if you go to the end of the bed, you can see down the hallway and into their daughter's room. Well, their daughter's room was open. And, um, I had just randomly looked down the hallway and I saw this little kid standing there. Okay. So, her dad had seen this little kid. This little kid had been there for a long time. They could not find any history on the place about a kid at all. But um anyway, so I'm I'm just kind of oof, if it's my mind. You know, I'm I was really tired that day. 
I'm like, maybe it's my mind, so I just sit back, watch some more TV, and I'm all like, oh my. Well, I didn't tell her about me seeing this thing. Um, little boy, until a year later, and she was talking about how her dad was starting to talk about him again. And I said, I think I saw him. So she told me to describe him to her, so I did. She did. She told her dad what I had said. She says, he says, yep, got him right on the spot. So creepy. Um, I don't claim to be psychic, clairvoyant, whatever. I believe everybody has a sixth sense. It's just some are stronger than others. And I think mine is stronger. Um. I. Get so freaked out talking about them. I don't like talking about my experiences. It scares me. I don't like it. But you guys wanted to hear about it. So, I'll say about a year ago. Um, I was sitting there in like the shower. We have a shower curtain, blah, blah, blah. And it's like a bath and a shower kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, I got this sudden urge to open the curtain, and all I saw was this shadow. Of a man in like a military uniform, and I'm all freaking out. I have not got out of that bathroom faster than that day. Um, the next day I had got up in the morning, and I used to take showers like as soon as I got up. Um, so. Like, I was half awake and got in the shower. Now, I'm usually up for, like, ten minutes, and then I get in the shower, you know. Anyways, so, I was sitting there, because I was taking a bath, because that's how I usually wake up, and then I unplug the tub and take a shower. Um, and I heard this whistling, I'm like, okay. Now, my mom and dad's room is right next to that room, so it's my uncle's. My mom and dad don't watch anything that has that tune. Neither does my uncle. So I'm like, oh my god. I get up, go to the bathroom under my room, because it's down the hall. And, uh, I'm laying in my room, and I hear it again, and it's coming from the hall, and I'm all creeped out, hiding in my blanket, I fall asleep, finally. I, uh, had got bored one day, about, I would say about, when MySpace used to be what Facebook is today. And I was taking pictures because I got bored. And I was looking through them and I'm like, what is that? One of my pictures. I look. And you can clearly make out a face in my picture. And it creeped me out so much. To the point where I did not sleep in my room for the next week. Because I was so creeped out. I, um, still feel the presence in my room, but I'm used to it now, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, so, I have a lot of them, I'm sorry, this video is a long video. There is, down the hall there's the back room, which is also the laundry room. 
and I always feel like something is watching me from that room. I don't know what it is. But I get so creeped out by it. Um, lately I haven't really had any experiences, like visual experiences. Except for like maybe a month ago. I was sitting out there, and my uncle was sitting out there with me, and we were watching TV. And then I just saw, like, this person out of the corner of my eye, in sweatpants, and without a shirt on, walk to the kitchen sink, and, um, put something away, but, I don't really worry about it. I mean, yeah, it's creepy, and, yeah, but, I'm so used to it. Sometimes, they are so real, and it's like you don't even know if they are a real person or not. It's kind of scary. But, um, that is most of my ghost experiences. If you would like me to tell you more, I'll put the link down below to my Facebook, my personal Facebook page, and you can message me on there, or message me on Facebook. I will respond to all of your questions, slash comments, whatever. If you would like to tell your own, you can put them in um, a comment or a video response. Or if you would like to keep it more personal, you can inbox me. Um, I can help with most of these things due to the fact that I know a lot about ghosts more than other people do. So... If you have any problems, please let me know, and I can attempt to help you, because I am, like, so into ghosts that I know almost everything about it. Well, they can't, I can't know almost everything. I know a whole bunch of stuff about that. Anyways, so, that is the end of this video right now. There may be more with more experiences I have. I will let you know. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Sweet dreams.